Hello everybody, I'm here with the Daily Astrology Forecast for August 31st, 2016. I'm Boaz Fowler, I'm an evolutionary astrologer, and a year ago, the beginning of September, I started broadcasting these daily forecasts. And we're closing a year together, and we're closing this year with a few very powerful days. Days of an eclipse, in an eclipse season and days that really are a culmination of everything we went through through this year, all the transits with the Mars retrograde and the Mars-Saturn conjunction and the Saturn retrograde and the Saturn in Sagittarius and so on and so forth and all the deep questions that we've asked ourselves through this year regarding who we are and what do we believe in and all the changes that we went through are culminating in this era and finally, we are now faced and get a glimpse regarding how things unfold from here onwards. An eclipse season and a lunar or a solar eclipse is a wild card. It's a time that we don't actually know how things would unfold and deep major changes either positive or negative, can happen to us in our lives or to people that are close to us in our lives. It's a portal. Many people choose to leave this earth at this time. Many people are born at this time. And major changes happen in our lives. So we need to be composed, more composed than usual. We need to really think about what we're doing and how we're doing it and make sure that we're safe and sound and do things with a careful attitude and doing it, doing it from a place of deep honor and, and thanks for the fact that we're here and we're able to do these things. This is not a time for us to sit quietly at home and wait for the skies to clear, no. This is the time to keep on doing and believing in the positive and believing in our mission and do things f with, with our whole hearts. And we've, we actually, when we go back to today, and the moon is void of course all day today, so we were not even going to talk about the moon, we are going to talk about the sun. The sun is moving to the north node, conjuncting the north node, talking about the same thing, talking about the fact that it is our time to shine. It is our time to be who we are, to do the things that are authentic to who we are, to really unfold and open up. So this is not the time to stagnate. It's a time to really put that pedal on the gas, but be a safe driver, be a professional regarding how you do things and do things with your whole heart, as I said before. And that Sun squares the this, this Saturn-Mars conjunction. That means that there is a lot of pressure, a lot of challenges, that there could be accidents and setbacks, that there are some fears, that there are some um, boundaries that we would need to know how to get along with and that we need to be careful as I said from accidents we need to be careful uh, not to get into conflicts or fights with other people and we really need to consider wisely how we go on and do things and we have to understand that this is a very stressful time These are, this is a very stressful few days these are a very stressful few days and how can we really stand up to all these challenges? Well, the answer is in the fact that the moon, once it goes into Virgo today at around midnight in Central Europe and around 1800 hours Eastern Standard Time, is trining Ceres. And the sun is sextaning Juno. And what it means to me is that we can do it together. As long as we nurture each other as long as we come from a place of compassion and love and support both to ourselves and other people and not be too hard or too harsh with ourselves or other people and as long as we bundle together 
as we bond with other people who are going through the same things and support them and let them support us and nurture them and let them nurture us, we can stand up to any challenge that is coming our way. So, thank you for listening, and I'll see you all tomorrow. This is Boaz Fighter. May you have a very positive next 24 hours. Bye-bye.